Hello everyone. Greetings to you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Today's Hi-Fi devotion is titled Walking as Jesus Walked. And the verse is taken from 1 John chapter 2 verse 6. I'm reading from the New King James Version and this is what it says. He who says he abides in him ought himself also to walk just as he walked. This verse requires us to walk just as Jesus walked. It can make the thought of following Christ very challenging, isn't it? Especially when you know that Jesus lived a perfect and holy life, fully committed to doing the Father's will. Is it even possible for us to walk like Jesus? Well, since this verse requires us to do that, let's look at one example from the Bible where Peter, one of Jesus' disciples, try to walk just like Jesus. I'm referring to the incident where Jesus walks on water. Jesus comes walking on the water to the disciples when they are already out in the sea. In the middle of the night, they see Jesus walking towards them. At first, they are scared, thinking that this figure walking on the sea might be a ghost. But Jesus comforts them and assures them that it is indeed him. So that's when Peter gets an idea and says, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. And Jesus responds simply saying, come. And Peter gets out of the boat and walks towards Jesus. Now, let's read from Matthew 14 verse 30 to see what happens to Peter. But when he saw that the wind was boisterous, he was afraid. And beginning to sink, he cried out saying, Lord, save me. And I love Jesus' response here. And immediately Jesus stretched out his hand and caught him and said to him, O you of little faith, why did you doubt? Walking on water is what we consider something impossible to do. But notice that Peter asks Jesus to command him to walk on water. And he steps into the sea to walk only when Jesus commands him. When we obey a command that Jesus gives us, even what is impossible becomes possible. We also read that when Peter's faith was shaken at seeing the waves and the wind of the sea, he started to sink. But Jesus simply stretched his hand out and rescues him. My dear brothers and sisters, whenever we step out in faith to do something that Jesus commands us to do, He strengthens us and gives us the wisdom as we wade through the most difficult of situations. And if at all we should falter at any point and start to sink, all we need to do is just call out like Peter did, Lord, save me. And God is never too far away to save us. Remember the word of God in 2 Timothy 2 verse 13. It tells us that even when we are faithless, He still remains faithful. So dear brothers and sisters, let's move forward in faith as we learn to walk just as Jesus walked. Let's pray. Lord God, Heavenly Father, thank you, O Lord, for for sending us your Son, O Lord Jesus. And Jesus, thank you, O Lord, for walking that perfect life, for modeling that walk for us, O Lord Jesus. Lord, we come to you in faith, O Lord, even through these difficult times, O Lord Jesus, knowing that whenever we slip or whenever we falter, O Lord, that you are with us. Lord God, I pray, O Lord, for each person who is listening, O Lord, that they will look to you, O Lord, to lead them in your way, O Lord Jesus. Thank you, O Lord. We make this prayer in the mighty name of Jesus.